The letter was delivered to the CNMI legislature this morning. Benigno Fittial's resignation as governor of the Commonwealth took effect at 10 a.m. In his letter, Fittial wrote, I have served in this office since January 2006 and count many accomplishments for the people who elected me. He explained the reason for his resignation by saying that his personal health and the best interests of the Commonwealth have led me to this decision. It is my hope, he wrote, that the elected leaders of our community can bring the Commonwealth back to prosperity and provide a secure future for our citizens. We ask you with your spirit of, of counsel and fortitude to help the governor, lieutenant governor, on, and all elected officials. There was promise. When he was first elected nearly seven years ago, Fittiel had big plans for improving the CNMI's economy. He spoke with PNC's Travis Kaufman back in 2006 about his hopes for increasing tourism, enticing Hong Kong investors to build a shoe factory on Saipan, and trying to convince Philippine investors to build a brewery. We have from uh, the Philippines, you know, uh, San Miguel Corporation, you know, is interested in uh, opening up a uh, brewery here in Saipan. Four years later, even though the CNMI's economy took a nosedive, Commonwealth voters re-elected Fitiel to another term. But frustration boiled over in 2012 when the House attempted but failed to impeach him last year. Voters rejected the pro Fitiel lawmakers in last November's election. The new House reintroduced the impeachment motions at the start of this year, and all 18 allegations against the governor were approved, including the unauthorized release of a federal female inmate to give him a massage, the awarding of a $400,000 sole source era management contract to a former cabinet official within days after that official's resignation, the shielding of former Attorney General Buckingham from being served a penal summons over a $19 million diesel power deal. Just yesterday, Fitiel had been summoned to appear in the CNMI Senate on March 7th for the start of his impeachment trial. I, Eloy Songal Inos. I, Eloy Songal Inos. This afternoon, former Lieutenant Governor Eloy Inos was sworn in as the new governor of the CNMI, and former Senate President Jude Hofschneider took the oath as the new Lieutenant Governor. Reacting to the news here on Guam, Governor's Communications Director Troy Torres wished Fitiel well. We also uh, wish the citizens of the CNMI well. You know, now is a time for healing the divisions um, that have been up there uh, because of these proceedings. Um, and um, also to wish uh, Governor Fitiel and his family well um, in their future endeavors. While Congresswoman Madeline Bordayo expressed the opinion that Fitiel's resignation was probably for the best. I knew him, uh, uh, you know, all these years, and uh, I'm sad to, to see him go, but uh, probably it's in the best interest that he did resign. Kevin Garrigan, PNC News.